Hey guys, Bully here, finally getting around to doing my tier list videos. For this tier list, I'll be splitting it into 5 sections, top tiers, high tiers, mid tiers, low tiers, and bottom tiers. Now of course, this is all in my opinion, I know a lot of you guys won't necessarily agree, and it's all okay because everyone has their own opinions and that's fine. I know for sure I'm definitely going to be overrating and underrating some characters, and that's okay. And just to clarify, this is version 0.9b, which is the current public build at the time of me recording this. One more thing before we start, even though these characters, in my opinion, are the worst in the game and are the bottom tier characters, I still believe that every character in SF2 is good and viable. And that's what makes doing a tier list so hard. Most characters are still very good, it's just who's better than the others. There's no real melee Kirby of SF2. The gap between the top tiers and the bottom tiers is much smaller than the other Smash games. With that being said, let's start off the list. In last place, at 29th, we have Wario. I'm sure this didn't come as much of a surprise to most of the competitive players watching this. Wario is a character who consistently had little to no competitive relevancy in 9B. This is partially because he's not very popular, but also because he's just not very good. Wario has some strengths, such as a great combo game with aerials and tilts, and comeback potential with waft but these strengths get overshadowed by his glaring weaknesses. For starters, he has an incredible lack of range on most of his attacks, making it hard to approach people. On top of that, one of his best features in the other Smash games is his airspeed, which is not nearly as good in SSF2. This combined with his slow ground speed makes for a very slow character. To make matters worse, Wario also has a lot of trouble getting kills easily, since getting openings is hard enough and Waff takes time to charge up. He also has fairly bad matchups with most other characters, most notably with disjoints and projectiles such as Marth and Sheik. With all of these combined, unfortunately, I have to place Wario as the worst character in the game. Although he may be the worst, he still has some good things going for him. At 28th, we have Sonic. Sonic is a character who I think has a lot of potential. He has a fairly decent combo game and a lot of various advanced techniques. However, unlike the previous build, 0.9a, Sonic took a heavy nerf into 0.9b and is what I consider the second worst character. A lot of his moves have small hitboxes that leave him open, making it hard to safely approach people. His speed can help with this, but it's still a struggle due to bad priority on most of his moves. His neutral air, for example, has a larger hurtbox than hitbox, making it very easy to punish. His recovery isn't great, but it can be mixed up, one of the various reasons I think he's better than Wario. Sonic also struggles in a lot of matchups similarly to Wario. He's a huge problem with characters who have projectiles that can beat out all of Sonic's approaches. He isn't terrible, and I do think with his numerous advanced techniques he could be better, but as of right now, it's hard to say for sure. At 27th, we've got Sora. I don't have much to say about Sora that hasn't already been said before, but I do think that Sora is sometimes underrated. People sometimes put him as the worst character in the game, but I personally think he has fairly good potential. He has various advanced techniques that make him a much better character than you think. Although, even with his advanced techniques, his weak kill power combined with his somewhat linear recovery really make him an underwhelming character. He does have amazing combo game and fairly good range on his moves, however he really struggles with getting kills. That's all I really have to say about Sora, he's an underrated character but his weaknesses are just too much. Chibi is a really hard character to rank because of his unique position. He's not really a bad character, he's pretty good but still has weaknesses of course. The main reasoning for his placement is something a lot of low tiers have in common. Low representation. To no one's surprise, Chibi is, well, one of the lesser played characters and has less opportunities to show how good he is. He doesn't really have any great tournament placings besides a couple players who do okay with him. He has pretty bad matchups with most of the characters above him, with some exceptions, and Chibi doesn't really have much advanced tech going for him, unlike most of the characters above Chibi Robo who have lots of hidden potential with advanced techniques. Overall, he's not terrible, but he doesn't really have anything that makes him better than the characters above him. 25th is Jigglypuff. To people who haven't played much competitive SF2, they probably are surprised by this placing, but as many players in the SF2 community know, Jigglypuff isn't really amazing. Unlike Chibi Robo, she actually has very good tournament placings, having multiple tournament wins. Even with this representation, she has terrible matchups with characters like Marth and Zelda, which really hinder her. She also doesn't have the kill power from Brass like she does in Melee, which significantly hurts her as a character. I actually think Jigglypuff is pretty good, and has a lot of advanced techniques. She's one of those characters who I think has hidden potential to be better, but as she stands, she isn't really amazing, she's just okay. 
Her aerials are pretty good, and her ground game is not terrible, but all the characters above her just do it better. And to finish off this tier is Peach. Peach is a really weird character in SF2. I don't think she's bad at all. I just feel like the characters above her bring more to the table. Some of Peach's strengths, such as her aerials and her turnips, are really good in SF2. However, besides her forward air and neutral air, she kind of has trouble killing people. Her down smash isn't nearly as good, and it's not easy to set up her other smash attacks. Luckily, forward throw can help with this, but only somewhat. Alongside this, it can be difficult for Peach to get in on people, especially in matchups with disjoint characters like Marth and Lloyd. I also wanted to mention really quickly that even though Peach is extremely underplayed, there are some people, such as Kios and Sorobotics, who have managed to do pretty well with her. However, this low representation definitely hurts Peach, and she's a character who has potential, but hasn't shown too much. So hey, there's hope for you Peach mains out there. Well, that about finishes this tier. Thank you guys so much for watching, this is my first type of opinion based video, I really hope you guys don't hate me for it. If you guys like this type of video, tell me in the comments below, and if you want, you can tell me what you think of the tier list. I hope people who made these characters don't get upset, because honestly, in SF2, you can do well with every character, and that's the point I'm trying to get across. Anyways, that's all for this video, thanks for watching.